Hello, and welcome to another podcast analytics presentation. My name is Brian Pod, and I'm a Cognos developer. I am currently looking for roles within Cognos Analytics, so please feel free to reach out to me if you're looking for a Cognos developer by visiting my Upwork or LinkedIn pages. Links are provided in the description below. With that being said, let's get started. In today's report, we're going to cover this beautiful sales report and how to create a simple rank. For this report, I took some sales data and created some year-over-year -year rolling month key metrics. These metrics are KPIs that any business owner would want to see at any point in time to gauge the performance of its employees and or the overall business. This report focuses specifically on sales, profit, and average discounts. Starting with our profitability trend, we can see by the column chart that the company has made some significant improvements in regards to profit particularly in the end of quarter one in the month of March. This cross tab shows that profitability has increased overall in both office supplies and technology, while furniture shows a decrease from in profit from the last year. Next, we have our stacked combination chart that represents average discounts relative to current sales by segment. We can see that a lot of discounts were offered at the beginning of quarter one and quarter two, where sales seem to fall short. However, improvements were made at the end of quarter two and the beginning of quarter three. This cross tab shows that our sales managers were offering fewer discounts this year than they were last year within different business segments. And finally, we have our sales by each sales manager. Each line graph shows a rolling seven month trend for current sales versus prior year sales. I've also added a numeric baseline of $5 million as well. In addition, each sales manager has their own cross tab that shows the percentage of increase or decrease in sales for various segment from year to year. For example, Anna has made massive improvements, particularly at the end of quarter one, which is probably a major reason why we saw that big increase in profit for the month of March that we saw earlier. Also, we can see that I've added a rank for each sales manager based upon their current and prior year sales record. Anna currently leads the pack with the number one slot stealing it from Chuck from last year, who is now currently number three. Kelly is making some steady improvements. And Cassandra, well, she needs some more motivation because she's currently in fourth and was in fourth last year as well. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a simple rank. If we go back to our report in design mode and add a, add a new list and create a query calculation, let's call this rank. and we're going to rank our current year sales. Invalidate. No errors. And now let's run this report. And our rank worked. Anna's number one, Kelly number two, Chuck three, and Cassandra number four. We can also make these different colors if you want as well. Originally, I chose the podcast analytics colors uh, for the prior year to uh, correlate with the prior year sales and the current rank to correlate with the current year sales. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.